Hello Forex traders, welcome to a trading view tutorial about alerts. So check out our mouse up here at the top of the chart. You can see this is the alert button. Go ahead and click that and you will now instantly see the alert menu, which can be dragged to any point on your screen to make creating an alert easy. So we're gonna get started really quick here. We're looking at a chart of USD JPY and in the alert menu, we can essentially tell TradingView, the platform, to let us know if 150 is ever hit on the chart. And we can give this alert a specific name, such as USDJPY alert test number one. So basically we're just calling this a test because we're showing you how this works. Then we can also leave a detailed message because if this alert ever triggers, if 150 is ever hit, we wanna make sure we know why. Why did we create this alert? And well, USDJPY crossing 150 alert video test. Let's go ahead and click create. And just like that, we will see this blue line across our chart, which we can hover our mouse over to learn more about. Now, keep in mind that if, for example, USDJPY ever goes up and above this blue line, we will instantly get an alert. And that's why alerts are so valuable because once you create an alert, now you just sit back and wait, wait for the price level to get hit. The best part is that alerts work with much more than just price tools like that. So if we were to right click, we can also create an alert here. For example, add alert or click the alert button, but it's even more detailed than that because for example, if we were to draw a trend line on this chart, maybe we see an uptrend here. So let's go ahead and draw this trend line. Let's double click and make this trend line a solid line through. Well, we can actually right click and add an alert on the trend line as well. And now we can create an alert specifically about this trend line. So if price were to ever break through this trend line, go right through it, well, we would get alerted about that in a second just by creating an alert. In addition, you wanna pay close attention to this notification bu notifications button here because this is how you determine where you want the alert to be delivered to. You can get notified on your mobile phone through the app. You can get a pop-up shown directly on the platform. You can get a highly custom and specific email delivered to you when these moments happen. You can even create a webhook URL if, for example, you're a coder or a programmer, so you can get really custom triggers sent directly to a specific location of your choice. Now, we've shown you how to create price alerts. We've shown you how to create drawing alerts. But keep in mind that it even goes a step deeper because you can create alerts based on technicals as well. So we have the technicals tab here selected. Why don't we scroll down and look for a technical indicator that's of interest to us? How about we do a, let's see, why don't we do a rate of change? So we're gonna add rate of change to the chart. So now we wanna be alerted if something happens with rate of change. And we can actually add an alert on ROC. And yep, you guessed it, we can now add a specific alert to rate of change. So if any price point or level on this indicator is ever hit, we'll be alerted about it. Okay, now that you've learned the key details behind creating an alert, whether it's with a drawing tool or with a price alert, let us remind you of one more super important feature that you're going to want to dive into and master, and that is your alert center here. See the icon off to the right of the chart? When we click to open the alerts center here, you can now see all of the alerts that you've ever created. You can study these, you can sort these, you can dive into them to learn what worked and what didn't, whether they triggered or whether they were stopped by you specifically. And of course, if you give them all very detailed titles and descriptions, you'll know everything about them. You can also sort them by date created or alphabetically. Really, the choice is yours. What's also particularly helpful is you can search. So, so for example, if we typed in USDJPY, well, we can see all of the alerts now that we've ever created with the term USDJPY. And there are some other features you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to like the alerts log here. And of course, you can even see how many alerts you've created, whether it's a price alert or a technical alert. Because remember, on TradingView, every alert is split up on a key thing, which is technical alerts and price alerts. Price alerts are what we showed you first. It is when price crosses a specific point on the chart. 
and technical alerts are drawing tools and indicators. So you can track the number right here at the top of the chart. We look forward to seeing you getting started with alerts. Dive in, test it out, make sure that you understand all the different ways you can create an alert and use it so that the platform works for you. It is watching markets for you 24 seven. Once you create an alert, it is essentially now your sidekick, making sure that if something happens on the chart, you'll be alerted about it.